again, I'm going to say the sentence which I said in the previous minutes in this video like a billion times, but I absolutely love 80s music. What's up guys, Martin here and uh, today I'm going to be playing a song association with L. I'll be given a word and I have 10 seconds to sing or rap a song that has that word in it. I think I'm gonna do pretty good. I'm usually very confident at things, but not at this one. I'm, <laughs> I, I, I don't feel confident at all. But before we're going to do that, um, make sure to listen to my new song, Whimsical Pattern. Uh, it's out. I'm just kidding, I don't have any songs out. Why am I singing out of tune? Because I'm not a singer. She six feet on the she gon' get that fucking paper. Six feet on the she gon' get that fucking paper. Six feet on the she gon' get that fucking paper. You know how she get down. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I forgot the rest of the lyrics, but the weekend six feet under. He's like the modern Michael Jackson in my eyes. I just ah uh, uh, I adore him. Hard. That's hard. I'm sorry. Believe that it's always been hard out here. I apologize for my singing, okay? I apologize for my singing, but that's Ray. Yeah, she's a she's a legend as well. She had this mass massive hit called Escapism. You guys might have heard it. It's on TikTok. It's everywhere, really. It's such a good song. The whole My 21st Century Blues album, fucking brilliant. There's no other words to, to describe it. It's so good. She's like the modern... Amy Winehouse. She reminds me of her and because I love Amy, I love Ray and yeah, her music is excellent, so definitely listen to it. Alone. You're gonna feel it when you're all alone. My singing is absolutely atrocious, but that was Kali Uchi's fantastic singer. I just adore her so much. I love uh, Shade. I've been to her concert once when she played Smooth Operator. Smooth operator. I was like, God, that's awesome. And Kali Uchis reminds me of her. She, like the, the music that she does is kind of similar. I'm a sucker for R&B music. So I said that I adore someone for the millionth time today. But yeah, I just, I, I absolutely love her. She's glorious. Again. You said I'm about to go to war. And I don't know if I'm gonna see you again. That's Kali Uchis, but featuring on Tyler the Creator's song, See You Again. Tyler is my biggest inspiration when it comes to music, when it comes to fashion, personality-wise. I just, I love him. Find. How did you find me? How did you find me? I just forgot the name of the band. Kings of Leon, thank god. Great indie band from Nashville, Tennessee, I believe. I've actually been to their concert. Obviously their biggest hit uh, is Sex on Fire, you guys might know it. And when they play that song live, the crowd went absolutely mental. You have no idea. I've never, I've been to many concerts in my life, but I've never seen such a crowd participation at one place. Yeah, that was amazing. One. The one who takes you home One more time I promise that After that I'll let you go My singing is awful, I apologize But that was obviously My girl, Ariana Grande Meet Meet me in the hallway Give me some more of it Is that that was so out of tune. Bone. I feel like there has to be a song with the words on my own <laughs> as a title. <laughs> but I just can't think of any. Yeah. No way. <laughs> Future. Okay, sera, sera. Whatever will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. When I was watching uh, The Man Who Knew Too Much, 
a movie directed by Alfred Hitchcock. I love him as well. I, I even got the posters behind me, as you can see. Um, this is Psycho and this is Vertigo. Down there I have um, the birds as well. Back to the point, when I was watching the movie The Man Who Knew Too Much that Alfred Hitchcock produced, I instantly fell in love with his production. Um, with his you know style of making films, but also with Doris Day, great actress, great singer, and that was her song, uh, What We Will Be Will Be, which happened to be the soundtrack for that movie. Hi. Cause she's so high, high, high above me, she's so lovely. Name. Hey, yeah, yeah. concerts in Prague. It's crazy to me that they're in their 70s, maybe even 80s. They're still touring, you know, around the world. I have no idea how they do that. And... Da, 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 da. To the end of the road. Although we're gone. Anyway, Boys to Men, when James Corden was doing the carpool karaoke with Justin Bieber, they sang this song. I totally forgot about Voice to Men up until, you know, that point. And I was like, God, I need to listen to them again. So I did. And such a good band, such a nice guys. And their voices. My God. Tell. And now I pull up in my green Honda to tell you that I don't want you. I'm having all these guys over. <laughs> Benny. Queen. I absolutely love her as well. She's from New Zealand, I believe. Use. Some of them want to use you. Some of them want to use by you. Da -da 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 -da. Everybody's looking for something. I sang the second verse and then the first verse, but that was obviously Eurythmics, um, Sweet Dreams. I don't have to say anything else. 80s music, the vibe, everything. Good. Good vibes, good times. I forgot the lyrics, but George Smith, good vibes. Okay, I did better than I thought I would do. Obviously, this is made, you know, by me. Aldo was not involved in any way. But yeah, I, I thought it, it was an interesting concept, and hopefully, you guys liked it. So, yeah, peace. Love you.